And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Hemostemics Channel, a phase three clinical stage biotechnology company focused on developing and commercializing a proprietary stem cell therapy to treat diseases caused by restricted blood flow. And we have the pleasure to be joined by President and CEO Thomas to take us through the Investor Deck today. Welcome back, sir. Thanks very much, Kyle. Pleasure to be back. And pleasure to get you on. So I'll pass it right over to you if you want to walk us through this and give us this high level, uh, level overview of the company. Um, absolutely. So there are two types of stem cells, Kyle. There's stem cells that come from your own body. Those are known as autologous. And there's stem cells that come from a donor's body. Those are known as allogeneic. We're a autologous company. We are. We take blood from the patient's arm, capture a synergetic cell population in that cup of blood, convert that into what's called an angiogenic cell precursor, that creates new blood circulation and new blood flow where the body signals it needs that new blood flow. In the heart, we've actually published, we just published a, a study in stem cell research and therapy, which uh, demonstrates a breakthrough in the treatment of heart disease. We demonstrate this in the form of how much blood the heart pumps with each, uh, with each stroke, each pump. And the, in the ischemic cardiomyopathy group, what you and I normally refer to as hardening of the arteries, we demonstrated at 12 months a 24% improvement in the volume of blood that the heart pumps into the circulatory system. That's the ACP regenerating the heart itself. It, it, in the dilated cardiomyopathy group, what you and I normally refer to as a thickening of the heart wall, in that patient population, at 12 months, we demonstrated a 47% improvement in the volume of blood the heart pumps. So that is a for the for, this is the third study that's peer reviewed scientifically. This is the third study done by a third different team that validates that ACP is a breakthrough treatment for heart disease. We have been over 15 years in development. There's been more than 40 million invested in the technology to date. And we have a very high margin product that comes from uh, the ability to scale this business uh, in, a, in the form of automation of production, which I'll touch on. We've been sponsored by the Associate Chief of Medicine at McGill University Health Center, by the Surgical Director of Transplant Medicine there, who is also a stem cell scientist, and by the Associate Dean of Biomedical Education, who is a stem cell scientist, and he's the current Canadian Pacific Chair of Biotechnology. Uh, we are sponsored at McGill to do a phase two clinical trial, and the McGill uh, Foundation, the McGill University Hospital Foundation, has agreed to uh, co-sponsor us, write a $250,000 check into that trial and reduce our overhead expenses from 40% down to 15%. So a very significant sponsorship uh, by a world leading uh, cardiac center. The company has 91 patents, 498 patients treated safely and uh, published seven peer review studies demonstrating ACP is a breakthrough treatment for uh, for heart disease and ischemic and and what's called critical limb ischemia. In our phase two trial, 93.5% of limbs that would have been amputated were saved from amputation. The markets are very large. Uh, the heart disease market, a $5.7 billion market, critical limb ischemia market, a, a $3.5 billion market. There's some 126 million individuals worldwide who suffer from heart disease known as ischemic cardiomyopathy. There are some 200 million individuals worldwide who have peripheral arterial disease. This is what diabetics get where they lose circulation to the toes, feet, and legs. And 20 million of those become what's called critical, uh, and that's known as critical limb ischemia, 9 million of the 20 million have what is inoperable critical limb ischemia. So these are obviously very large markets that require a company that has a therapeutic to scale to meet those volumes. Here's a very descriptive picture of how ACP goes to the site of ischemia, goes to where the body is signaling it needs new circulation, it regenerates circulation, and in this case, it saved this limb from uh, amputation, saved these toes, and it healed. 
On the left, you can see the graph. At visit seven in our phase two clinical trial, by visit seven, we had significant healing of wounds and ulcers as those described in this slide as compared to the placebo in orange. ACP is but one of three products. So where we also generate NCP and CCP. NCP, we're, we're focused on uh, Neuralink, on Elon Musk's company Neuralink, which is implanting electrodes into the, bra into the brains of uh, recipients. And we uh, posit that NCP plus ACP will improve the environment, will improve the signaling processes of the, uh, of the conduction of signaling between the brain and the electrode, and will improve the longevity of the implant, thereby reducing the need for additional surgeries. Cardiomyocyte cell precursor, CCP, is a, is a heart cell precursor. You can think of it like a heart stem cell beating in a dish. But this promises to be merged with a bio uh, scaffold that is in the form of a heart. So imagine uh, a bio scaffold that's impregnated with the patient's own uh, heart cell precursors that are beating, coupled with the ACP, which is giving it circulation, so that you're implanting a heart into a human that has the patient's own heart cell precursors and angiogenic cell precursors, thereby reducing uh, any rejection. The company uh, started in 2003. We have in 2005 won the World Economic Forum Technology Pioneer Award for demonstrating to the world that there is sufficient stem cells in a cup of blood to create a therapeutic from. And we did that, we defined that as a synergetic cell population. Uh, we've gone through our studies and are now at a uh, phase three ready, phase three ready for uh, critical limb ischemia and a phase two ready for heart disease. Here's a description of the scale out of our business process. Essentially, we're uh, restarting production and with one team, uh, one shift, we'll able, we're, we are able to produce 20 batches a month. 20 batches a month generates a million dollars of revenue a month. When we go to two shifts or three shifts, we go to $2 million, $3 million revenue a month. But where this really scales out is uh, at stage six. We, are, we also have a patent on the business production, the process of uh, automating the, the production process. And one production cell will generate 240 treatments per month. So that, uh, you know, taking us to uh, $12 million. And here's our timeline on restarting production. We are, we are at the stage where we're ready to uh, close the financing, hire and train people, put them in our own lab where we retain uh, control of our intellectual property, move through uh, the, the restart of that, uh, creating clinical trial batches by the end of Q2 2024. Uh, we are then in production and producing for clinical trials at, at McGill, as mentioned, and moving to uh, 60 batches per month to also create treatment batches where uh, we can generate the revenue that I described earlier. We expect by uh, Q4 2028 to be in a fully automated production uh, in, and, and in that revenue as described. Obviously, for relevance and reference, uh, 240 batches or 240 treatments uh, per month, one ACTS production module is capturing about one uh, 20th thousandth of the North American European addressable market. So uh, it gives you the, again, the concept of why we need to scale. Why physicians like it is because ACP is, uh, it dovetails right into their existing practice. They're able to, uh, see patients in their clinic, do a blood draw, send that to hemostemics where it's processed in a centralized fashion. Uh, on day seven, they're in an appointment with that patient. And if it's a treatment of critical limb ischemia, they're actually able to do an outpatient um, injection of ACP into the limb of that individual. If they're, uh, if they're doing a heart procedure, 
It's an invasive cardiologist who's in a cath lab, and he's doing a procedure that he does um, day in, day out, which is the injection of the stem cells uh, into the collateral arteries that feed the heart. So the unique properties, uh, this is a highly scalable therapeutic, no patient risk because it's your patient's own DNA. There are no ethical concerns because you're dealing with your own blood. It's a very simple protocol as described. We have a very, it's a fresh product with very high cell viability. And there's been no reported safety issues related to the product in 498 treatments. So the key takeaways here, uh, hemostemics is a, got a breakthrough treatment for heart disease and, and uh, critical limb ischemia. It's safe and effective because it comes from the patient's own blood. It's patented, scalable, and profitable. We're focused on an 83% plus margin. We're addressing two very large unmet markets, and we're able to uh, sell into those markets now uh, as we complete our clinical trials. Management and the board have more than $8.5 million invested. We're sponsored by uh, the McGill University Health Center and Foundation, and we can generate significant revenue from the treatment of critical limb ischemia while we complete clinical trials. With that, uh, Kyle, I'd take, uh, take any questions you have. No, I think this was uh, pretty insightful, and we'll pass the questions off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think in the comment section below, so perhaps we can do an investor Q&A down the road. This was a, a very thorough uh, deep dive into the company, and consider subscribing because as Catalyst and News come into play, of course, we're going to update you here as well. But on that, we look forward to catching you in the next one.